Hello, wonderful materialistic minions. What in the world do I have today? Ooh, it's kind of distressed. It's got some scratches on it. Oh, there's something inside. Let's discover it together. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my everyday carry little pack from Pop Off Leather. And if I were to continue this, I have a little flash drive in there that's 128 gigs with all sorts of, oh, encrypted, password protected, sensitive files and stuff like that. And uh, this, in case you're wondering, is actually designed for your pocket knife. But in my particular case, I just kind of wanted to share how I personally use this uh, little leather case. Custom leather, by the way, it's got my name right there. Chevisu, how cool is that? So if it goes missing, people will actually find it. And oh, wait, 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 there's actually something else in there buried in the very bottom. It's a little piece of paper with my contact info. So yeah, it might help if I accidentally leave this, you know, at a restaurant. They'll be like, oh yeah, 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 that guy. He he was just here, Chevisu. But if they actually need to contact me, there is in the stuffed in the very bottom a small little piece of paper. But that's just me. If you if you want to do that, awesome. Uh, it also has this. Uh, it doesn't come with the pen. I actually got this on Ali uh, Express for like two bucks. And this little pen, it's got a whole bunch of cool stuff built into it. A little screwdriver, and you can pull that, that out. There's a flathead. Uh, there's a little measuring device on this. And of course, it is a pen. But I'm not here to tell you about this. I just want to point out that it does fit actually quite, quite nicely right in there. And this pen is much cheaper than one of those space pens, uh, which I tend to lose pens. And uh, this suffices just nicely. I mean, who's to say that you need a uh, $20 or $50 or even a $100 pen? Uh, this one was less than five bucks from China. Uh, now, as for the actual makeup of the pop-off leather right here, you can see that it is very, very well uh, stitched and, and uh, designed and crafted all around the edge. Whoops, sorry, let's go ahead and focus on that guy. I think I brought it too close. We'll just bring it back out there for the time being. Uh, as far as what knives fit in here, now I am actually carrying something that is well below the recommended uh, length that would fit in here because I've got some other goodies that I've stuffed in there as well. Really the purpose that I use this for is uh, just kind of something to sit on my bed stand and before I just run out the door, I grab one little thing and uh, out, out the door I run. And the nice thing about leather is that it kind of stretches so that it stays in place and it doesn't actually fall out. As opposed to, let's say a little case that you have to unzip or something like that, that's kind of lame. And so I can have this, oh see it actually takes a little force to get out. This little guy right here is my lighter. How cool is that? <laughs> Ooh, don't want to burn the camera because of course the camera is above that. And for the most part, fire tends to go up. But anyway, I'm not here to ruin my camera and do that. So uh, in case you're wondering about the length of the knife that I've got right here, this knife is about, oh, three inches in length. And so if you have a knife upwards of four inches, it might pop out the top a little bit, but it most likely will fit. Uh, so I would try to keep your pocket knife under four inches. Uh, when you were to, you know, trying to determine whether or not this little pop-off uh, leather case is going to in fact fit your everyday carry knife. Uh, do keep in mind that a knife that's upwards of five inches in length is not going to fit in this guy. I mean, look at that. That's just is coming out comically out the end. Uh, so if you are one of those Rambo style people who uh, carries a massive knife with you and you want to protect that, then it's probably not going to fit in there. So keep your knife under four inches in length. That's my own little humble opinion. Or if you're like me and uh, you just want to have a little knife, little multi-tool and fit a whole bunch of stuff in there, you certainly may do that as well. It's very handy waking up in the morning. Hey, hey, what are you doing? It's very handy waking up in the morning and just grabbing this on your nightstand, putting it in your pocket and out the door you go. So that's it, five out of five stars, highly recommended. Penny, what do you think? All right, oh, 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 she got all shy. Anyway, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you've, uh, uh, this is helpful in determining whether or not this is right for you. Absolutely highly recommended. It uh, stretches, it conforms to your knife. Uh, it will take a good month, to, uh, at least, th th by the way, this is about a month old and I've been using this every single day. So you've got some wear and some, some scuff marks on there, which I think is pretty darn cool. You can see the little indentations of 
the uh, certain objects that I have put in there. Do keep in mind that once you put an object in here, it's pretty much going to conform to that object. So don't think that you can swap stuff in and out, in and out, and uh, try to keep things in the same configuration when you put it in. Uh, because of course it is leather and it does stretch and it does conform to that. That's it, isn't that cool? Very handy, very lightweight, even smells nice too. Five out of five stars, my name is Bo Shepazoo. All right, catch you later.